My sister is, is a fighter. She sees things for the greater good. She does things and she has spent her whole life, I mean, who knew when she was just here as a young college student fighting to have a chance to play on a women's soccer team that she would continue doing those kind of things her entire life. Sally Cavion got her first taste of soccer in the early 70s when most of America had little interest in the sport. Sally and her younger sister Debbie grew up playing at recess with the boys. But before long, they were on the very first girls team in the Ontario Montclair region. Sally's passion for the game grew, but there was little opportunity for her to grow as a female athlete in school athletics. She was determined to continue with the sport despite that and played on the boys teams in both junior high and high school. And she was good, if not better than many of them. Once Sally made it to Mount Sac, she hoped to play on the women's soccer team, but there wasn't one. So she decided to change that. My sister put together a proposal to start a women's soccer program and that required her to um, gather names of students here, get uniform and equipment, quotes, uh, contact universities because there was no community college women's soccer at the time. Um, and that proposal she took to the president of the college, the dean, the athletics director, the vice president, and the board of trustees to start a women's soccer program. And um, that proposal is uh, what started everything here at this college for the women's soccer program. So Sally really began this program and you know started with advocating for there to be a women's team and going all the way you know to, to the civil rights office to get a team and that kind of commitment to uh, equity and parity in the women's soccer program continued through 40 years of a legacy really of three head coaches and it started in that year Deb Blackmore then Debbie Cavion and then myself all of us were involved in that first year of that program and literally over a thousand women have been impacted by what Sally started here at Mount Sac. After more than a year of fighting, Sally's voice was finally heard, and in 1981, the very first women's intercollegiate soccer team began their inaugural season. Sally led the team of trailblazers, and the face of women's athletics at Mount Sac was forever changed. The Mounties were conference champions, and Sally Cavion made first team all-conference and conference player of the year, before transferring to Cal Poly Pomona, where she was on the first women's soccer team in 1983. As the mother of four children, she continued to be an advocate for change. She fought for better drinking water at the local high school and advocated for the refurbishing of sports facilities to keep students safe. She's a tireless volunteer and her voice has had a lasting impact on those she's fought for. Had she not done what she did, I couldn't tell you where I would be or what I would have done. That impact is on me, but for 30 years I have uh, talked to young women soccer players and, and those that are a part of this program, assistant coaches and coaches, and always made sure that they understood that a young woman who was just a college student herself was the sole reason that the women's soccer team got started here and that they can accomplish great things even though maybe they are young, even though maybe they don't have a career yet or that degree yet, but that small um, dreams can have profound impacts on people for a lifetime. I am because she is and, and over a thousand young women have benefited from Sally's strength and courage and insight into starting this women's soccer program. I can tell you that at the beginning of each season once our, once our teams were picked we would show them that letter that Sally Cavion wrote to the board of directors here because Although we are in a much better position in the world of women's soccer now, it hasn't always been that way. And it's, it's something to remind our student athletes that it's a privilege to play here and it's not something to take for granted. There were a lot of great women that came before that helped make this possible. And so it, it, it's something that we wove into the history of this program was what Sally did. And every single kid that's ever played here in the last 40 years knows her name. I think the word um, pioneer often gets thrown around a lot and uh, 
Sally really was a pioneer in thought and in action. And so, she, you know, she, I can't think of another person that would be more deserving to be in the Hall of Fame. For her athleticism, along with her courage of conviction, tenacity, and pioneering efforts in equality, Mount San Antonio College proudly welcomes Sally Cavion Santoyo into its Athletics Hall of Fame.